Hello and welcome to this video tutorial from Kramer Electronics. Today we'll discuss updating firmware on a VP728, 729, 730, or 731 scalar switcher. As an example today, we're using a VP728. First thing you want to do is take your unit, connect it to a display, and navigate to the info screen on the on-screen menu. Hit menu all the way to the right to the info tab. On the info screen the last thing says firmware revision. In this case it's VTB 1.17. I know that there's an updated firmware version on the web that releases some new features that I want in my unit so I'm going to go download it and install it onto my unit. So we clear out of the menu by hitting menu again. We're going to navigate to our browser and go to www kramerus.com. Once you're at kramerus.com, go to the top right product search box and type in the model number for the unit that you have. Once you navigate to that page, scroll down to the tabs where it says downloads. Click downloads and find product firmware. VP728729, master firmware upgrade version 1.23. That's the one we want. We'll click on that link. In the next page, we click Download Now, and it downloads it to our PC. We're going to open that folder up. Now I'm going to take my USB flash drive, plug it into my PC, and I get prompted to open it. I'm going to open the folder. We see that it's empty. I'm not going to create a folder within this. I'm just going to take this file, VTB, 123.brec, drag it over to the main directory here, and it drops it in place and extracts it at the same time. Close that, close that, remove the USB drive from your computer, plug it into the front panel of the scaler, and we're going to navigate back to the menu. Hit menu, scroll to setup and hit enter. We're going to go down to advanced setup, hit enter again, and then across to miscellaneous, enter, and then scroll down to firmware download. And hit enter. And you see that it pulls in the file that you want it's the .brec file. We're going to hit enter. Do you want to update firmware? Yes, we do. We hit enter again. And it automatically goes through the process. Once the progress is at 100%, it's going to prompt you to restart your unit. Once you restart it, turn it back on, go back to the menu, confirm in the info screen that it took the new upgrade as long as it did. You're good to go. You can take that USB drive out of the front panel and use it however you'd like. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact your local Kramer office or go to KramerUS.com. Thanks for joining us today.